the female genital system. Welcome to this educational audio lecture on the female genital system. In this session, we will explore the external and internal genitalia of the female reproductive system. Let's begin our journey by looking at the external genitalia. External genitalia. The vulva and its parts make up the external genitalia. The word vulva is a term used to refer to the external genitalia of the female. 1. Mons pubis, the elevated fatty tissue covered with coarse pubic hair over the symphysis pubis is called the mons pubis. Pubic hair appears during puberty, and the function of the mons pubis is to protect the pelvic bone. 2. Labia majora. The labia majora are large longitudinal folds of skin and fatty tissue extending from the mons pubis to the anus. The outer surfaces are covered with hair, while the inner surfaces are smooth and moist. They serve to protect the entrance to the vagina. 3. Labia minora. The labia minora consist of two folds of skin found within the labia majora, enclosing the vestibule. In front, each labium minus divides into two folds, with the fold above the clitoris called the prepuce of the clitoris and the fold below called the frenulum. These structures do not have pubic hair. 4. Clitoris. The clitoris is a small projection of sensitive erectile tissue, similar to the male penis. However, the female urethra does not pass through the clitoris. The clitoris is covered by a prepuce. 5. Urinary metus. The urinary metus is located between the clitoris and the vagina. 6. Vaginal orifice. This is the opening to the vagina from the outside. 7. Bartholin's gland. Bartholin's glands are bean shaped glands located on each side of the vaginal orifice. They provide lubrication to the vagina. 8. Perineum. The perineum is the area between the vaginal orifice and the rectum sometimes referred to as the pelvic floor. Now, let's shift our focus to the internal genitalia. 1. Uterus or womb. The uterus is a hollow, muscular, pear-shaped organ located in the pelvic cavity between the urinary bladder and the rectum. It has three anatomical divisions, the fundus upper convex part, the body ventral part, and the cervix lower neck-like part. The fundus is situated just above the entrance to the fallopian tubes. The walls of the uterus consist of three layers, the endometrium inner layer, the myometrium middle layer, and the parietal peritoneum outer layer. The uterus plays a vital role in pregnancy, labor, and menstruation. 2. Uterine tubes, also known as fallopian tubes or oviducts. These tubes extend from the uterus to the ovaries, and serve as the path for ova to travel from the ovaries to the uterus. They are positioned between the folds of the broad ligaments of the uterus. The infundibulum at the open end of the tubes is associated with fimbria and connects to the ovaries. Three ovaries. The ovaries are almond-shaped glands located on either side of the uterus, below and behind the uterine tubes. They produce ova, participate in ovulation, and secret female sex hormones such as progesterone, estrogen, and relaxin. 4. Vagina. So, the vagina is a muscular tubular organ lined with mucous membrane extending from the hymen to the cervix. Its lining consists of smooth muscles arranged in folds called rugi, allowing the organ to expand when necessary. The hymen is a fold of mucous membrane at the vaginal orifice. In conclusion, we've covered the external and internal structures of the female genital system. Understanding these components is crucial for comprehending the female reproductive system's anatomy and function.